my dreams to be a pole vaulter in the Olympics were shattered. Um, um, I was driving home from a pole vaulting meet. We hit black ice, which is ice that you can't see. It was late at night. The vehicle went out of control, and as the car was rolling, I was thrown out of the vehicle to oncoming traffic. So when I woke up in the hospital, and there were doctors around saying, you know, you had a spinal cord injury. We don't exactly know how bad it is right now. I didn't feel it was that, you know, big of a tragedy that happened. I didn't realize it until um, I got all the final results back from the doctor. And he pretty much came into the room and sat down and, you know, tried to have the right attitude about telling me that I would never be able to walk again. Um, I really didn't know what to say at that point. This is my first time being able to speak about stem cells and feeling confident that this is going to go somewhere. But my main reason here, that I'm here sitting, soon to be standing in front of you guys today, is that I had stem cell treatment. Well, my uncle, who is a cancer doctor in Reno, Nevada, Dr. Forsythe, went to a seminar in San Francisco on stem cells. Um, mostly went there for his cancer patients. And this doctor was talking about how it can regenerate and regrow you know, with a spinal cord injury. They told me that I could become normal. And normal? I mean, that's, that's words of encouragement in some ways to me. Be able to walk again. And I just kind of looked at them like, where do I sign up? Where do I go? Is, is this really true? And um, Within the first treatment, I noticed after two weeks that I was able to stand and take 100 steps after three months. And now I'm going to continue my speech standing and showing you guys what I've overcome. And Fetal cells do two basic things. First, they release what's called cytokines, or trophic or growth factors, and then they actually replace damaged tissue. Now, in the case of Ricky, she had some of the neurofibers that were alive but dormant, sleeping, hibernating. These cytokines, or growth factors, can wake up these areas. The next thing that happens is that she's actually growing new neurofibers. I've had three stem cell treatments. I've gained 65% back. The stem cells that I used were very controversial, but it worked. I'm standing here in front of you. I have muscle mass. I have nerve control. And I'm ready to take a stand and support the people that support me in stem cell treatment. Let them know that they truly do work. And I hope that people take awareness from this. And I just want people to be in my shoes for once. If you were paralyzed, if you had a debilitating disease, or you had a loved one with, that was in the same position, what would you do? Would you just let them sit there and watch them go through the hard times all through their life? You don't want that. I don't want it. We can take something so natural, instead of all these pharmaceutical things, controlling our lives. It's right there, right in our hands, in our body. And I hope that you guys can take that from today and help support people like me, help support people that are in chairs, dying from cancer, heart disease, and help us make a difference because this is the next regenerative medicine.